so on that. Leyland, 100%, is the biggest instigator of the two. He'll just interrupt Reggie's walking. He's like, play with me. <laughs> it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> The original gang was Willie Whalen and Reggie. I opened the gate and he went over only to the ducks. Whalen and Willie chased them around and he would chase them in and chase them around. <laughs> they did this for the whole entire time that he was out there. Waylon and Willie would gang up on Reggie in the pond, and the two of them would chase him out of the pond. Oh, they got you! They got you! <laughs> Willie passed away, and it was really, really rough on Waylon. He sat in the window staring at himself because he was identical to Willie. Reggie helped Waylon 100%. Without Reggie there, I think Waylon would have still been sitting sad. Reggie and Waylon became best friends. Waylon follows Reggie all the time. Is he chasing you right up the stairs? <laughs> if I open the gate, Waylon immediately comes out, goes right for Reggie. Waylon will follow Reggie up and down the fence. Waylon will pick up so much speed that he brings his wings out. <laughs> When Reggie walks away, Waylon will look for him. But not one-sided ever. It's Reggie minding his business, Waylon comes and bugs, or Waylon's minding his business, and Reggie goes over. <laughs> when Waylon's out, Reggie chases him all around the pond, through the pond, <laughs> through the little duck house. Reggie wants to play 24-7. The other animals like to play with Reggie when they want to play with Reggie. <laughs> but his best friend is Waylon. As long as Waylon's out there, he's his best friend. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Reggie and Waylon's relationship is the most purest relationship I have ever seen. Reggie and Waylon inspire me to make a book called Waylon the Duck Wants to Play. <laughs> They're so different, but they just love each other so much.